how to use the advanced English sentence structure, get used to something or doing something. All right, everyone, are you ready to practice some advanced English grammar? Now, don't be scared by the word advanced. Really, when I say advanced, we're just talking about the sentence structure is getting a little bit longer and there's a few more things that you need to keep in mind. Other than that, there's nothing scary about advanced grammar. So you're going to get really comfortable adding this advanced sentence structure to your vocabulary. This is a must know sentence structure. It's very commonly used in English and you're going to learn exactly how to use it, when to use it and get lots of practice using it as well. Of course, my name's Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this video, you're going to add the advanced English sentence structure to get used to something or doing something. Now, as you may know, right now I'm in Colombia. Actually, right now I'm in a city called Medellin, Colombia. And because I'm in a new city, there's many things that I need to get used to. For example, I need to get used to speaking in Spanish. That's the obvious one, right? When you're in a new city, they don't speak your native language. You have to get used to the language that the city uses. And for me in Colombia, of course, that's Spanish. So notice how I just use that expression. I have to get used to speaking in Spanish. I also used it as a noun form. I have to get used to the language that they speak in the country you're in, okay? So just based on your understanding of the context, I'm in a foreign city, they don't speak my native language, Spanish isn't my native language, I'm not comfortable in Spanish. What do you think to get used to means? Hmm, a lot of times you can understand the overall idea just based on context. Well, to get used to something is when you go from a feeling of discomfort to a feeling of comfort with something new in your routine, okay? So you're going to use this expression anytime you start something new. It could be a new job, a new hobby, a new activity, a new relationship. It could be living in a new city. It could be simply driving a new car. Anything that's new, you have to get used to it. There's going to be a period of time when whatever that new thing is doesn't feel comfortable. The only reason why it doesn't feel comfortable is simply because it's a new part of your routine, okay? So, we use to get used to, to go from discomfort to comfort. And how do you get used to something? How would I get used to speaking in Spanish? Hmm, what do you think? Honestly, how do you think I could get used to speaking in Spanish? Well, put it in the comments if you have an idea. Of course, it's by speaking in Spanish. That's the only way I'm gonna get used to it, is going out to a restaurant, ordering a meal in Spanish, doing it five days in a row, and guess what? The first day is going to be really awkward, really uncomfortable, and then I'm going to get more and more comfortable, and by the fifth day, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable with that simply because I've done it five days in a row, right? I'm getting used to it. So notice the verb tense there, I'm getting used to it because that's in progress. I'm moving from discomfort to comfort as we speak. Now, you've already heard lots of examples naturally, but let's just focus in on the sentence structure. So the expression is 
to get used to, okay, the to belongs to the expression, to get used to, and then to complete the sentence, you need either a gerund verb, so that's your verb in ing form, okay, to get used to speaking in Spanish, or you can have a noun, to get used to plus something plus a noun. So, to get used to Spanish. Spanish is a something, it's a noun. I need to get used to Spanish. I need to get used to speaking Spanish. Now, notice with both of these sentence structures, I use an additional verb. I need to, I have to, I should, I'm trying to. We would need something before it in this specific sentence. Now, in the present continuous, you can use get used to as your main verb. You can say, right now, I'm getting used to speaking in Spanish. So remember, we use this expression when anything is new in your routine. So let's imagine that you started a new job, okay? What do you think you would need to get used to? So a feeling of discomfort and go to a feeling of comfort. What do you think you would need to get used to? Give me an example. Make sure if it's a verb, it's a gerund, and you can use a noun as well. So give me an example and put it in the comments below. Hmm, take your time, pause the video if you need. Hmm, what would you need to get used to when you start a new job? Well, you would have to get used to, notice I said you would have to get used to because it's a hypothetical situation. You'd have to get used to your boss, so that's a someone. You'd have to get used to your boss. You'd have to get used to your colleagues. You'd have to get used to the policies of that organization. You'd have to get used to getting to work. So maybe you have to take a different route or maybe you have to take the train instead of your car. So you have to get used to that new method of transportation. What else? You have to get used to the hours. Maybe the hours are different. You have to get used to your tasks. So maybe one of your tasks is uh, editing videos <laughs> because that's what I'm going to do with this video. Okay, so your new task is editing videos. You've never done it before. Or maybe you're just not comfortable with the software that they use at this new job. So you'd have to get used to the editing software. You'd have to get used to editing videos. That's your verb in ing. You'd have to get used to the process that they use for editing videos. So there are so many things you'd have to get used to when you start something new. So let's have some fun with this. You've heard lots of examples using this at a natural pace. Hopefully you understand that sentence structure by now. If not, go back and review it. But let's practice this. So I want you to identify a new activity. Remember, it could be anything new. Maybe you joined a new book club or you joined a new gym or you bought a new car and there's something you have to get used to there, or you're in a new relationship, or you joined a new class. It could be anything. So it can be small events in addition to major events like moving to a new city or uh, starting a new job. Those are major events. Moving to a new house for sure. But minor events, can you can definitely use this expression as well. So choose an event and then write at least one thing using the gerund form and one thing using the noun form that you need to get used to. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, I hope you enjoyed this advanced English expression and make sure you get really comfortable with it. Make sure you get used to it. Bye. 
practicing it in the comments below and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!